Hey everybody, how's it going? Christian from Treasure Town here, and today we're going to be doing another update in my weekly Cherry Picker series, releasing on Saturdays, and it's an episode in which we take a look at one coin that you probably see a fair amount in pocket change or in collections, and identify an error, variety, or abnormality that's found on some of those coins, but not all of them, where if that abnormality is present, it'll make the coin worth significantly more than its purchasing power or face value. So the one that we're going to be covering today is the 1967 quarter. I have one right here and I'm going to use it as a demo piece. I'll show you where on this coin you're going to be looking for the error and then we'll go to a PowerPoint presentation where I'll have photos of the real error and I, I can explain that and then give some idea as to how much the coin is actually worth. So look forward to sharing the rest of the video with you. And here is that 1967 quarter that we're going to be taking a close look at. We're going to be looking for a double die obverse. So that means that there's going to be some small doubling on the front of the coin, but the place to look for it is in the Liberty. So that's where you're going to be looking. There's going to be small doubling exhibited in the Liberty. And I'm going to show you more on the PowerPoint presentation along with the values. And here is that 1967 quarter that I was talking about. As you can see, it is going to be found on the special mint set coins, so it's a slightly special strike, but within those coins, which you can find in your collection or sometimes in pocket change, there are some errors notable to look for, and there's a pretty clear spread in terms of that double die, especially in the Liberty, you know, all through here, very clear on the serifs of the R. And in terms of the values, they are pretty substantial. So this is going to be about a $100 coin in MS60. And since most of these are going to be in those sets, most of them will be in pretty good condition when you find them. MS63, you're looking at about $150. MS65 is about a $225 coin, and it'll kick up to $350 once you hit the MS66 level. So good luck for searching for this one. You know, you come across a fair amount of these from time to time. So it's a good idea to just stop and check to make sure you don't have the error one. And with that being said, good luck in your pursuit of this coin. Thanks for watching the video. If you haven't already, I'd encourage you to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay in contact with me on my Instagram, TreasureTownYT, Facebook, TreasureTown, or my website, TreasureTownYT.com. And I love receiving packages from you guys. I'll unbox them in a video once I get enough. And my address for that is TreasureTown. P.O. Box 201, Greenwich, Connecticut, 06836. So I'll see you on some of my other videos.